What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope everyone's doing well, everyone's keeping safe. Um, you know, just to give you guys a quick update, we are still in lockdown right now in Brampton, Ontario. Uh, we're part of a province-wide lockdown. I know I've mentioned this in the last couple of videos. Uh, it looks like the lockdown is probably going to last probably up until late March, early April, if I had to guess. I know right now it's said to be that we're closed till February 19th. So February is going to be a write-off and I'm pretty sure March will be too. But I'm not mad about it because as you guys probably already know, Maddie and I are expecting our first baby, our baby girl is due early March. So we're super stoked for that and just patiently waiting her arrival. So, um, you know, that's been keeping us busy, uh, just getting ready for her. But for today, I thought I would do a little product review for you guys. Um, if you guys haven't already guessed it, it's on the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer. Um, I've mentioned this product in some of my past reviews. I did a what's in my toolkit and um, this was one of the products that I had uh, made an honorable mention about. But today I wanted to give it its own video and just really break down the blow dryer for you guys and why I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna talk about the pros. I'm gonna talk about a few of the cons. There really aren't many. I'm pretty sure there's only one that I'm aware of. But uh, nonetheless, I'm gonna Know, just dive in there and give you guys all that information. Um, it's a little late. This this blow dryer has been on the market now for a little while. I purchased it about three years ago, and I think it was out maybe a year or two prior to that. But they've actually uh, re-engineered it. They redeveloped it a bunch of times, um, and this was their professional version of it. Uh, the only difference from this one and the consumer version, to my knowledge, is. Um, the magnets are stronger on the blow dryer, uh, the cord is a little longer, and then the color, which you have like the light gray and the dark gray on the body of the blow dryer. But other than that, it's um, it's, it's virtually the same thing, but um, we're gonna get right into it, guys. So here we go. We've got the Dyson Supersonic blow dryer. This is the box. Uh, you see the blow dryer here with the three attachments. It's got the precision styler um, nozzle. It has the wider concentrator and then it has the diffuser. Uh, so here they all are, these are the parts right here. You got the diffuser, um, you have the wider nozzle, and then you have the precision styler. This is the one that I use the absolute most. It's got the really narrow opening at the bottom there. Um, and uh, what else do you get in the box? Um, you get this really cool brush. I mean, this this is why you love. I, I love Dyson, personally. Um, their products are phenomenal. The innovation is out of this world, and I feel like they really think of everything. So, uh, to start out, actually, before I get into all of that, I just want to give you guys a little breakdown on blow dryers. Most of you probably already know this, some of you may not, but blow dryers really haven't been reinvented since the 1960s. Um, they've kind of been just kind of producing them the same way up until Dyson came around and just flipped the game around. Um, for the most part, blow dryers, conventional blow dryers, the engine of the blow dryer was on the top of the blow dryer. So it was top heavy for an extremely long time. Um, that's kind of just how manufacturers were developing them. Problem with that is, is that there's a lot of fatigue on your hand. Now, if you're a hairdresser or a barber, uh, mainly a hairdresser, you're using the blow dryer quite a bit, especially because you know, you're cutting, you're blow drying, um, you know, you do color treatments, you're gonna have to blow dry the client. So this is, this is a tool that is used on a daily basis, uh, day in, day out. So it's gonna get a lot of use. So you wanna make sure that you're protecting uh, your bread and butter, which is you know your hands. That's what's gonna make you your money, right? So you need to, to take care of your hands and your body overall. But uh, to start, you know, gotta go with the Dyson blow dryer. So how they've innovated the whole game is they've actually taken the motor from the top and they've placed it in the handle. So it's no longer top heavy, it's actually, it actually has a very balanced weight to it, which I really like. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people that use this product, that's what they really like as well. Um, you no longer have that fatigue on your wrist. Um, and it's extremely powerful, this blow dryer. For a really small blow dryer, it's very compact in size. Yes, the stem is a little longer, but um, you know the head of the blow dryer is, is, is so small. It, it's, it's you know very compact but it really packs a punch. This has got to be one of the most powerful blow dryers that I've ever used, ever. 
Um, I used to have a Babeless blow dryer. I forget the model number of it. That one was really nice too, but uh, this one blows that one completely out of the water. So um, I'm going to turn it on for you guys and you can hear how, although it's so powerful, it's extremely quiet. It's not super noisy. So I'll show you guys the different settings, okay? So this is the first air setting. This is the lowest air setting, okay? This is the second and that's the third. So, and now I'll go down. Three, two, one. So you can tell from two to three there isn't a huge difference, but overall, not very noisy at all, so I really like that as well. You know, you don't, you, a lot of times you'll have it near the client's ear, you don't want that, you know, it can get annoying. So again, not very noisy at all. Um, and like I said, super light. It, I don't know, it weighs next to nothing. I don't know the actual weight, but if I had to guess, I'd say if you, if you leave, I mean, with the cord, it's probably like, five pounds not even um so yeah there's that so you have the attachments which i mentioned uh you got the wider nozzle you got the precision one and then you have the diffuser so now again innovation at its best most conventional blow dryers for the longest time just have these plastic pieces that you you know you you slap onto the machine and then um they're usually just in a fixed position if you attempt to turn them which you can Typically, you'll end up, you know, burning your hand off because the thing is super hot, and it's just really, it's just really annoying because a lot of the times it won't, re you know, you have to wait for the nozzle to cool down for you to turn it. Um, also, with those old school plastic pieces, you know, you put them on, and like my wife Maddie, um, you know, you turn on the blow dryer, hers will just shoot right out of the blow dryer, especially if you have it on the highest um, air setting. The, the plastic nozzle, and a, a lot of our clients can attest to this, I'm sure they've seen it happen, the nozzle will literally shoot from one end of the shop to the other side, and that's just how it goes. But Dyson, you know, again, innovation at its best, came out with magnetic pieces. So it actually has this magnet on the front of the machine, and then the pieces will magnetically snap on, and then they're fixed. Like, you can actually hear that snap. So this is me. You gotta actually like really pull it off, so it's it's fixed on there. It's it's got a good grip, so you can hear that snap when it when the magnet attaches. And then what's what's amazing is I'm not sure if this is like a plastic or a carbon, but whatever material that these uh, attachments are made out of, they're very they're easy to turn. Like you can see how easy that is to turn. And I'm sure a lot of hairdressers and barbers can attest to this that. You know the old school blow dryers when you would fix the piece on it was really hard to turn them whereas with this with ease you can just turn it you're not going to burn your hand even if the blow dryer has been on um on whatever heat setting typically it doesn't heat up horribly like where you're going to burn your fingers it's very easy to just turn them. so same thing goes for the diffuser snaps on pull that off and then you have the wider nozzle there you go same thing so they literally all are magnetic and you can spin them all the same way. So again, another amazing feature. Um, cleaning your blow dryer is a breeze too. So again, they've come up with this amazing little brush, which basically goes into the cord right up to where the air filter is. So the air will actually travel up, the, up this bottom piece here through the filter, travel up and then shoot out. So up and then out this way. So this is the filter here. And obviously from time to time, like anything that has a filter, it gets dirty, it's gonna get clogged up. And if you want to ensure that your tool is gonna, you know, have a long life and it's gonna operate the way it's supposed to, you wanna make sure you have, you, you, um, you practice proper maintenance on your tool. So you take the little brush from time and time again, and then you basically just go onto the filter and then you wanna just spin it. And now what the brush is going to do, it's going to go into the little perforated holes where the filter is and it's going to clean out all the hair in there. Now this is just a quick way of maintaining your blow dryer. Uh, this is something you can do like on a daily basis. But if you want to do a more thorough clean on the filter, which I suggest you do, maybe do it like once every three weeks to a month. I don't know, I could be wrong on that, but I, I, that's, how much, that's how often I would deep clean it. You can actually pull this off. This is magnetic as well, by the way. That's how cool this thing is. So this one pulls off. It actually will open up like that. Okay, it's a little tricky. So you open it up, there you go. 
and you can take the filter and they suggest you run it under some warm water with dish soap and that'll really clean out the filter properly. So the brush is for a quick clean and the running under the water is uh, when you want to do a deeper clean and really get in there. Um, they don't suggest, obviously this should be common sense, but you don't want to put the filter back on when it's wet. You want to make sure it is 100% dry, otherwise it's really going to mess your blow dryer up. And you guys may not know this, but this thing is not cheap. Uh, it retails for about $4.99, but I can promise you it's worth every penny. This blow dryer is phenomenal. So uh, make sure you take care of it, and when you want to put it back, you just open it up, slide it back onto the cord, the opening there, and then it's got this little insert here, the, and then the filter has that same piece, so you want to just line it up, and then it goes right in, boom, done. So there you go. Uh, right here on the back, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it's got two buttons. So it has your uh, the power, your, your air settings, so it has one, two, and three, and then you have your heat settings as well. Uh, over here you have your on and off button, so up is on, down is off, and then you have a cool shot button, which most blow dryers have it as well. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what heat setting you have, so I can put it on the hottest setting, and then if you want to cool it down right away, you just hold that cool shot, and then it'll cool down right away. All those red dots go away, indicating that it's indicating that's blowing cold air. So there you go. Um, I don't think I've ever gone past the first heat setting. I find it heats up really, really well. I can only imagine that that third setting is like molten lava. Like it must be boiling hot which um, I don't ever feel the need to use that setting, or even the second one for that matter. Um, mainly because, you know, we, we, I have a barbershop. I'm not doing like long hair. I'm not dealing with long hair all the time. So that first heat setting will usually suffice for me. Um, but I usually will work on the second or third air setting. So like the fastest speed, because I really want to, to get that hair dried quickly. So that's usually the settings that I have my blow dryer on. So you can see it's just, it looks really cool. It's very futuristic looking. It's got that little circular um, look in the middle there. It's hollow, much like their, um, their fans, like the tabletop fans, you know, it, 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 it resembles that. So I like that they kept that pretty uniform throughout their product line. It's, it, it just has an amazing look. It's super dope. Um, so you got that. The cord on this one, as I mentioned, now this is the professional um, version of it. So the cord is like, without exaggeration, like 10 feet long. Like I can, our shop isn't very big, so I can literally walk from my station with this blow dryer plugged in, walk over to any one of the stations in the shop. So there's Travis, Maddie, and Megan. I can walk to any one of them and help them rough dry their client if they have like super long hair. That's not, that's not a joke. Like that's how long this cord is. So really nice on that. Um, I find the cord doesn't really tangle up the way other blow dryer uh, cords get tangled up, so I love that. That's one thing that is just super annoying. Again, I'm sure a lot of hairdressers and barbers can agree with that. So that's really cool. Um, and then also in the box, what I didn't realize up until five minutes before I shot this video, I opened it up, and I guess I must have not noticed this when I first purchased it because I was so excited. But it has this anti-slip mat, so you just kind of, you know, you can open it up. If you have a flat surface, um, you just open up the mat place it down, and then it's an anti-slip mat. So you place your blow dryer on there, so you know it's not gonna slip off um, uh, a flat surface and then crack on the ground and break. Again, you wanna take care of your tools, so use the anti-slip mat if you're working with a flat surface. It also came with an extra air filter, uh, which I thought was really cool. Again, I didn't notice that up until five minutes before filming this, uh, so that was pretty dope. And um, the cons. So. Again, there's not many of them. I mean, I really think there's only like one negative about this blow dryer. And I would say, and, and you know, and it's mainly because of the holder that I have for my blow dryer at work. It's not the one that Dyson manufactured where, you know, you it, it sits up like, it kind of looks like this shape, like a, like a 45 degree angle. And then you can place your blow dryer on it. Again, it's magnetic, so it, it just fixes on. Uh, for my setup at work, that wasn't going to work for me, so I purchased uh, an aftermarket one off Amazon for like 50 bucks. Um, and basically, it just fixed, it's fixed onto my station, so it just it sits like this, but it's got these two prongs that it sits on. And sometimes when I go to put it back, 
I bang it on the on the stem so this scratches up and you know I like to keep my things looking mint uh, so this one you know this blow dryer is kind of scratched up other than that it's in pretty pristine condition I take really good care of it but um, you know this is kind of all scratched up which kind of bo it bothered me in the beginning I don't really care about it so much now it's you know it, it's gonna happen you know shit happens whatever so it's not a big deal but other than that guys I don't really have anything negative to say about this blow dryer this thing is a well-oiled piece of machinery like it is phenomenal um, there's a lot of science and engineering that went into it and um, again like I mentioned it's not cheap but it's worth every single penny I don't suggest you purchase this blow dryer if you're just starting out as a hairdresser or a blow or a, sorry, blow dryer uh, or as a barber um, this is something you kind of want to work towards I don't really get why when people get into the industry they want to buy the best of the best. I mean, most times you don't even really know how to use those things, right? Whether it be the best clipper or the best pair of scissors or the best blow dryer. Uh, you want to start out small so, you know, if you drop certain things, um, you can kind of, you don't have to feel so bad because you didn't drop a, a shitload of money on these things. So you want to work your way up to it until you have an appreciation for that. I mean, at the end of the day, do what you want. It's your money, spend it how you will. But that's just my two cents. Um, the diffuser, sorry, I didn't mention the diffuser. So, we don't have a lot of clients that come into the shop that have curly hair. And if I was still working in the salon, this thing would have been my best friend because we had a lot of women come in with curly hair and wanted to walk out with just kind of like a loose wave. This attachment, is phenomenal I mean I've never used a better diffuser in my entire life uh, the way they've engineered this thing is is insane the way it disperses the air is so evenly um, the curls come out super tight and refined um, it's not just blowing the curls all over the place and they look all frizzy and ratty when they leave um, you know coupled with the right product this this diffuser is deadly this thing is amazing so um, highly recommend it um, I don't really use this guy. This is the wider nozzle. Um, this I would use if I was rough drying someone's hair, if they had like a shit ton of hair. But again, I don't really have that problem so much because we are in a barbershop and we don't have guys that come in with you know crazy long hair or super, super dense hair. I mean, we do have clients that have dense hair, but it dries fairly quickly because the blow dryer is just that powerful. For the most part, as I mentioned before, I typically use the one that's more concentrated, so it has the narrow head. Um, this one is the go-to because you can really get a smooth finish and that air is super concentrated when it's coming out, so you get a nice polished, uh, refined look on the client when you're blow drying their hair. So, so those are the attachments there. That's all of them. Uh, since I've purchased this blow dryer, Dyson has actually come out with like three more attachments that you can buy for the blow dryer that are super compatible with really any model of the Dyson Supersonic blow dryer, whether it was like the first gen or the last one or the, the newest one, I should say. Um, the new attachments are universal. They'll work with all of those versions of the blow dryer. Um, so yeah, overall, just a phenomenal tool. Um, can't complain. I mean. The same can be really said about Dyson as a whole, as a company. Um, you know, Maddie and I, we also have like their tabletop fan. Um, we also have the Dyson V7 Trigger, which is like the handheld vacuum. And I mean, if you own Dyson products, you know that A, they're not cheap, but they're worth, again, I can't stress it enough, they're worth every penny. I mean, once you go Dyson, you just can't go back to anything else. It's just the best of the best. And that's kind of, you know, as I get older, I'm starting to view things that way, where it's like, I don't want to buy a lot of shit. I'd rather spend my money wisely. Uh, I don't mind spending a little bit more if I'm getting the best of the best, because it's going to last me that much longer. I don't want to just keep buying, you know, one shitty blow dryer after the other, or a crappy fan or a crappy vacuum. Just get the best. Um, and again, I say that um, you don't have to work up to a good vacuum cleaner or a good fan, but I mean, you have to work your way up to a good blow dryer to really appreciate it. It's kind of the difference. So um, don't roast me in the comments on that because I know what I said and I'm not backtracking. I'm just trying to make a point. So if you're looking for a good blow dryer to start out with, 
Again, I don't remember the exact model of that Babyliss blow dryer uh, that I mentioned I used to use prior to purchasing the Dyson. Um, you know, I would suggest just doing a little bit of research, seeing what's out there on the market, and you know, don't go all in right away. Just kind of work your way up to uh, this bad boy right here, and I'm sure you guys will have an uh, immense appreciation for it when that time comes. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share the video. Uh, if there's any tools that you guys want me to review, please leave them in the comments. Um, there really hasn't been anything new that's come out in the market right now for, for the industry. I know there's been a lot of rumors about a cordless Oster fast feed, which I'm sure everyone's excited about because that is like an OG tool for every barber. I mean, new school and old school um, alike, barbers have that Oster fast feed corded clipper in their arsenal. I know my wife Maddie has it in hers, she loves it, and if the rumors are true and there's a cordless version, I'm definitely gonna grab one for her. I might even grab one for myself, because it's, it's a phenomenal tool. My only thing is that it's corded, um, and right now I'm trying to go cordless on all my machines. I just like the freedom with the no cord. So until that time, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, stay safe guys, take it easy. Until next time, 